Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Game Pass Shop GUI, alright? Now as you guys can see, um, this is my game called The Dark Rooms, which you guys can play, link in the description. It's actually a very fun game, you should go play it, link in the description, play with your friends. Yeah. As you guys can see, if you look at the screen here in the lobby, right, um, there's something missing, right? If you guys can't get this Game Pass Shop GUI to work, or if it, if you can't be stuff making or anything like that, and you guys just want to get it quickly, you go ahead and go over to payup.com slash Alien. It's literally right here. So, yeah, if you guys want to make it, you can just go ahead and get it. Link in the description and in the pinned comments. So, yeah, it's really right here, and all you gotta do is get it. What's missing is a Game Pass Shop GUI. Alright guys, what we're gonna do firstly is go ahead and go to start GUI. Alright, obviously it's not gonna look like this for you guys. You might you might be starting off with a base player or whatever, however your game looks like, it doesn't really matter. Alright, it's the same steps. So go ahead and go to start GUI, right click it, click on insert and insert object. You wanna insert a uh, screen GUI. Now what we're gonna do is insert a you know what, let's just get like a text button to start off with. Alright, so we're gonna be making this together, alright guys. So Keep following what I do. Alright, and make sure you guys have this plugin installed. It's called Auto Scale. Now, if you don't know how to install plugins, all you gotta do is go to a box, go to plugins over there, and just search up Auto Scale. Alright, and it should be there, and you just gotta install it. Alright, guys, so you're gonna insert this, and you're gonna go to plugins, Auto Scale, unit conversion, make sure it's both on scale, the position and size. And now, what we can do is rename this to uh, open. Now we're gonna make this look better because this looks very boring and bland. It just says button. Now, obviously, since this is a horror game, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna, this needs to be my own style. You know what I mean? Let's just go ahead and right click it, insert objects, and we'll do a UI corner. All right, just like that. That's that's actually not bad. That's pretty good. I'm just gonna make this look all horror like. All right, so we'll just do something like black, a little bit of red, I guess, maybe something like this. So what we can do is go ahead and insert an object. We'll insert an image label inside of the button. All right, guys, doesn't matter. Just put it here. But okay, you guys can skip this step if you or if you like your button to just look like this. But if you want to make it look better and more interesting, then just keep on following what I do. So let's have this image label here. Same thing we did with the uh, text button. We'll just unit conversion, scale, scale. Okay, perfect. Get rid of this text. Go over to images. Now I'm not obviously I'm not gonna I'm not using the original one obviously, but I think this will do. Yeah, copy asset id you're gonna go over to the image label then go into image and you just want to paste it here all right and yeah you probably can't see it it's fine and make sure this is not on stretch make sure it's on fit all right that, that way it looks way better and there you go <laughs> this there's your shop icon now we'll, let's add some text to this inside this image label we can add a text so object with the text label all right guys and We'll just resize it, okay, and then do the same thing. Go to auto scale light, make sure it's on scale, all right. Then the back of transparency, put that to one. Let's put the UI stroke in here instead. And the text scaled, text color white, and we'll do guru. We need this to shop. Oh, this looks way better. What the heck? actually looks pretty good i'm just gonna make my own design for the button and i'll be right back all right guys all right and there you go there's the shop button and that, that took too long basically all this step is just to design it so now we'll do we'll insert a frame put it in the middle and we'll just scale it uh we're not gonna make it a box yeah this is perfect so now we're gonna go and do the same thing auto scale unit conversion do scale scale boom now let's design this again let's just do like point to, no, yeah, point, point one transparency. Make sure it's like dark color. I mean, I'm going for a dark color because it looks good. But you guys can design design it however you like. Now I'm gonna copy the text here, and I'm gonna paste it inside of the frame. Okay. Now, obviously, if you guys don't have a text, you can go ahead and click insert insert object and text label. But make sure it, the unit conversion is on it. Alright, guys. Make sure you do scale for any any of the things you insert all right i'm just designing it guys so rename it to like game pass shop gui as you guys can see all right guys so now the next step is to go ahead and insert a scrolling frame because uh let's say you have like a bunch of game passes then you want to be able to fit them all inside of a, a frame you know what i mean so we have the scrolling frame here and same drill you gotta go ahead and convert it to the scale now we we'll scale it just like this all right then we'll put it in the middle uh i think that's 
it's good. Alright, so just like that. Now we can back on transparency to one. And as you can see, you can't see the scroll button. If you can't, you can't see the scrolling thing, you can easily change the color. Just scroll down to here. And I'll just do like, like white or something. Call this game passes frame. Alright. Uh, what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna make it make this very customizable and easy for you guys. So I'm gonna be putting this on my asset store. So if you guys want to get this, you can link in the description. You don't need to do all the hard work. Okay, now that we got all this out the way, let's add a game pass. So let's insert a frame inside of this. Okay. And this is how this this is how big it's gonna be inside. Make sure it's scaled. And we'll call this um whatever game pass you have. So we'll just do like night vision first. Alright, you, you don't need to change the name to this. Make this a little bit dark. Maybe like this, something like this. Right here, I'm, I'm just gonna make my, my thing look a little bit better. So, UI corner. So now, what we're gonna do is insert an image label inside of this one. So, insert an image label. Okay, so this is gonna be the icon for your game pass. Alright, and same thing as usual guys. So, scale, scale. And we'll just leave this as is for now. And let's just copy this text. Um, and we'll just paste it inside of this Yeah, so there you go, and then we'll duplicate this And then we'll call it, we'll just do the description here Add a button and So we insert object and then we'll insert a text button And this will be purchase, alright guys a few moments later okay, Alright, so I just, I'm finished designing all this So now all we need to do is inside of your frame insert a number value okay inside of your frame i will call this the game pass id now i'm just doing this so that i can make this customizable by grid layer okay make sure it's laid out properly so the size 0 0.35 and 0 0 0.35 yeah, I think that's good. I'd say basically all you gotta do is just um adjust these up until you you like it. All that's left for us to do is the coding your GUI. So click on it and go ahead and click insert insert object and the script. Okay, now you wanna follow do you wanna insert a local script, right? Let's first of all script opening and closing the shop. And oh yeah, speaking of which we need a, an X over there. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this X real quick. Yeah, that's good. Alright, and just to make this GUI even better, let's add some sound. So um, yeah, if you guys don't have any sounds, all you guys can do is go to Toolbox, go into Audio and just search up, like, click. Alright, then you can, you know, play any of the click sounds, and maybe you might like some of them. And uh, all you gotta do is just copy the ID, in the shop, and insert it, it's an object, sound, and then you just paste the ID in. But obviously, I already have a sound, I'm gonna copy it from my other GUI. I also forgot to mention, um, let's rename the text button to purchase. Oh, uh, we'll just purchase. Alright, there you go. And, um, yeah, this is fine. We'll just call this, no, we'll do icon, title, description. So, yeah, this is all good. Alright, guys, so I'll show you guys how easy this is to customize. So, after I'm done scripting, it's going to be so easy. Alright, guys. Alright, guys, so one thing we can also do is add a price. So, let's go ahead and duplicate this. We'll call this price. And I'll put this underneath the title. Alright, and we'll just make it smaller. Alright, and then make sure this, um, we'll just make this like a little bit darker. A few moments later. Alright, so now the script should be completely finished, I hope. Alright guys, make sure all these have the exact spelling, so Game Pass ID like this, purchase uh, like that, title like this, description like this, and price like that. Okay guys, otherwise it will not work, it doesn't matter what you call this, this is fine. So now all we need to do is paste the Game Pass ID. But to get the Game Pass ID, all you need to do is go over to your game, click on store, and this is how you make your own game pass too by the way so you can just go ahead and click on add pass click on create a pass click on sales and do item for sale and then you can change to whatever so let's just get the night vision id so copy that pass id then we'll paste it inside of here and let's go ahead and make this invisible and let's see if this works all right guys all right click on shop and as you guys can see it actually worked boom there you go. It gets all the info from the Game Pass ID which you provided and it literally just puts, it sets everything as is. Okay guys, so if you click on purchase, I already own it as you guys can see, but yeah, it, it works as you guys can see. It's really that simple as you guys can see and it literally works. And I'm just gonna design it guys. Look at this. Alright, look. 
let's get the next game pass alright so what we're gonna do simple alright duplicate this alright we're gonna you don't have to rename it to anything we'll just rename it pass well it doesn't matter just for me get my stronger flashlight game pass ID copy that and all we gotta do paste it inside of here alright then make this invisible again and hit play alright now watch boom it's, it's literally that simple look as you guys look at that, just look, that's perfect. Alright guys, it's literally perfect. Alright, so yeah, there you go. There's your shop GY right here. Um so yeah, if you guys want to get this shop UI, like um I will link really link in the description and the pinned comments so you guys can go ahead and get it. Uh if you, this is too much work for you guys, and here's the script, so you guys go ahead and copy it down uh if you want. So um yeah make sure you guys like subscribe and yeah make sure you guys check out the darkums link in the description this game is actually really good I don't even care I don't care it's literally I'm about to say it. this is literally one of the best horror games on Roblox and let me know what tutorials you guys want to see next all right I right, see ya.